Hello world, Greg Strike here. This is a story I've been meaning to tell you guys for a very long time. It's about a time a tornado tore through the city my wife and I were living in. Is that it? Do you see that? No. Look. Oh. Do you see that? Yeah. These are by far the most popular videos that I have on my YouTube channel. I get it. It's about a tornado, there's excitement, there's fear. All that stuff, it's good for the search algorithm. People are typing in tornadoes because they want to see tornadoes. So I get it. Uh, that's why I posted it, because I knew people would want to see it. What I don't get is I actually have two videos. I have one of us filming the tornado, but then I have one of us taking cover in the basement. It initially starts off with the lights are on, and then the lights cut out, and then it's black for like four minutes. And this is that video has way more views than the one of us actually seeing the tornado. See it? I saw it. Okay. I absolutely saw it. Okay. Yep, there goes the power. So this all took place in April of 2011 when the United States was experiencing a large tornado outbreak. And it wasn't just a large tornado outbreak. This was the largest tornado outbreak on record. And it's called the 2011 Super Outbreak. During that time, there were 875 tornadoes reported in the month of April alone. And that blows the previous record out of the water, which was May 2003, where there were only five, only 542 tornadoes reported. So 875 is a big number. <laughs> so my wife, <laughs> sorry, I'm fighting a cold. So my wife and I became weather spotters for the National Weather Service shortly after being married. We love the sense of adventure, we love weather, and we wanted a way to give back to the community. Now, if you don't know what a weather spotter is, uh, it's an important role that the National Weather Service trains people up to do because they need eyes on the ground. While radars are an amazing tool, they don't tell the whole story of what's going on the ground. So when, when they see something on the radar, they want to be able to match that up to what's actually happening on the ground. So in the training, you learn about, you learn about how to report on, on rain, wind, hail, uh, wind, and definitely tornadoes. And that becomes real important because sometimes a tornado is not a tornado. And this is not a tornado. And there's many things that look like tornadoes that aren't actually tornadoes. And part of the training is, is actually helping to identify what a tornado is and what a tornado is not. These videos were shot in 2011. Um, cameras back then weren't as good, uh, especially in low light situations. Uh, and what you'll see in the video is how the uh, it, it's it's really dark and the only time you really get to see the tornado since this was taken at night is is when the lightning flashes um, and anytime the lightning flashed just it seemed like it was getting closer and more, uh, better developed um, so keep an eye out for that as you watch this uh, also note how it's not going from side to side uh, this thing is coming right for us. It, it ended up hitting uh, right across the street from us. Um, we uh, fortunately did not sustain any damage. Um, the house across the street from us uh, had a two by four like speared through the through their uh, uh, house. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the video right now. Uh, pay attention to the lightning flashes. If you pay real close attention, you'll be able to see uh, the tornado developing and uh, you'll actually see it before before I see it. You're supposed to hear that and go in the basement. There's nobody else. Here we go again. again.
The roads are dead. Yeah. Oh my god. What? Is that it? What? Is that it? Do you see that? No. Look. Oh. Do you see that? Yeah. Uh, it's really moving. Let's get in the basement. Yeah, it's time to get in the basement. Wow. Do you really think that's it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. it that's got to be on the ground. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah, get to it. Let's go in the basement. Uh, so, so that's the video. Uh, you heard me say, get the tudes, let's go to the basement. Uh, some people have asked me what the tudes is. Uh, that's our dog, uh, Jetta, German Shepherd, uh, amazing dog. And uh, uh, we called her Tootie McDuty. And you can, <laughs> you can uh, decide what you want on why we called her Tootie McDuty, but uh, we called her Tudes for short. <laughs> so... So we're going to cut over to the video of us in the basement now. Uh, one thing I wish we would have done differently, uh, obviously, is first and foremost, have a flashlight. Uh, after I posted this video, uh, so many comments. I received so many comments about, uh, dude, get a flashlight, get a flashlight. Okay, all right, I get it. So get a flashlight. And Jenna, Jenna. almost dead. You hear it? Jetta, come. Come here. Come here. Just get down. Get down. Just okay. Yep, I can hear it. You hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. Lay down, Tootie. Lay down. Jetta, lay down. Did you see it? I saw it. Okay. I absolutely saw it. Okay. Yep, there goes the power. God. Please give us Please. Cover on your head? Yeah. Okay. You stay safe, all right, hon? I'm going to leave the camera rolling. You gotta come. Come here. What's this? What's this? Quiet. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. Why don't you just grab her and just stay right here? Do you have your phone on you? Yeah, but it's almost dead. Okay, do you mind just staying here? Yeah. Whoa. Wait. The wind's really going still. Is it? Okay. I'm just going to stay down here. No, 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 no. Come here. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Wow. It's okay. She's really scared. She yeah. knew. She knew this was coming. Wow. That's all I can say. I can't wait to go up there and see what happens. <laughs> I hope everyone's okay. I hope so, too. Did, did you see it coming right for us? Yes. It was I coming right we for us. We were on the porch, and it was coming to the porch. That's why I was looking for it, though. I wanted to know, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. It was big. It sounded like a freight train, too. It was like, big. I had never heard anything like that. No. I mean, I did just say it sounded like a freight train, but it 
the same time, it didn't. No. It's not like a freight train without the chug. Okay, just, just grab roll. her. Just grab her, and I will yeah. run upstairs. Yeah. It's still really windy, honey. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's a tornado. But let's just stay down here. So there you have it, guys. That's the that's the story. Um, thankfully, nobody was injured uh, during this. Um, obviously, I showed some pictures of the damage from earlier. Uh, there was a house uh, not even a block away from our house that was just completely destroyed uh, during this. Um, but everyone was safe. Uh, my wife and I did go out and take a look at uh, damage. Uh, people were driving their cars through the debris, and I can't even tell you how many tires I heard pop uh, during during that time. So if you ever find yourself in that situation, don't drive your car through the debris. You're going to lose your tires. Anyway, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching for as long as you did. Um, I really, really, truly appreciate it. Uh, I would really appreciate your like and your subscribe. And we will uh, we'll be back with you guys soon enough. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. See you guys. Bye-bye.